Hey folks, Machine Elf here, coming at you from Yahargul, the unseen village under the beautiful red moon. Uh, <laughs> among the old ones, all over the place. So, gotta try and get my souls back, my blood echoes. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Unless... Oh, good, the lift is here. I got nervous that the lift wouldn't be there. Did I get everything from that location? I'm not sure. Alright, my blood echo should be over there somewhere. I see them. Wow, another one came out of there. Oh, good lord. Uh, I need, uh, I need distance. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, no, they're going to trap me. over here a dead end oh no all right well there's only one of them here right now nice yeah look at that the other ones all kind of gave up the chase a little bit okay well this will work Two of them. Oh! That was a lot of damage. Oh god, there's another one. Maybe I can use this thing to my advantage here. Yes! Oh! Oh, I'm dead? Why? Why did that do so much damage? Okay, but well, at least I have a strategy. There's no lift. No lift over there. Oh boy. How did that guy get in there? Okay, well, getting my blood echoes is pretty easy here. Alright, why don't I take a look down this path instead, eh? I think I heard a voice. Who is talking?
Oh, we're back here. Ooh, had to sneeze. Um, oh, I completely forgot where I was for a sec. Alright, maybe this is a good opportunity to check the rest of this area. Hopefully there's not more in here. Oh, I missed. Starting to feel like I need more stamina these days. No bag men. And that is where Dark Beast Parl was. where I came from, right? Well, actually, I don't know. No, wait. <laughs> oh, this area is confusing. What's that? Where are they? Okay, this is the stairs. go all the way down this time. Oh wow, that that actually got me. something to find in there. Madmen toil surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon, uncover their secrets. Is that the Mensis ritual? To uncover the moon as if the moon is secretly something that it's not, and they're trying to reveal it? The moon is being suppressed, perhaps? Oh wait, that's just a body. This is where we found that woman. Who still hasn't spoken to us, by the way, since she came to Erden Chapel. Bloodstone chunks. Yeah, I haven't seen any bad men in Yarhar Ghoul. So it's almost like whatever faction was in control is no longer in control. And we f fought like some, some NPCs that are instead probably associated with uh, Mensis or the Choir. And these bad men. Do I have any information about the Bagmen? Hmm. Oh, I never tried out the Shikage. I'm a little curious. Hang on, let me stick it on here. Alright, so here it is. Got a scabbard. It's essentially, it's it's a katana. Got the same katana moveset that you would expect. Is it a running R R1's poke? No, it's a slash. Upward slash. It's a little bit different. Very cool. It's kind of like the uh, Ubadachi kind of thing from Dark Souls 3. 
and then uh, oh wow oh my health is going down it doesn't go down that fast it's pretty good yeah I like it and it would just improve the blood the blood attack I assume not bad. Not a bad weapon. Uh, would be... What does it scale with? Mostly blood tinge, but it also scales a bit with arcane and skill. Okay. I think this might be the cell that I woke up in when we were kidnapped before. I just can't settle on a pronoun to use. I always say either I or we, and I switch back and forth. I don't want to go where Dark Beast Parl was, because I'm assuming that I won't be able to get out again. Oh, but I have a key, don't I? Hmm... Maybe I can get out of that area then. Well, at this point, I'm just trying to think. Like, where do I have left to explore inside this chapel? I'd like to return to the bath. Let me find the bath. I'll take a quick look over here just to make sure. There's really nothing here. I think I saw a gate at one point. There's a gate right there. Let me see if I can... Ooh. Oh, no. I can't get in there. Oh, I'm dead. Right, it was worth a shot. I don't think these enemies collect my blood echoes, so they should just be right on the floor. Okay, so here's the staircase to the left of the bath, which it, I now remember you get to by jumping off of the lift. Look at that foot sticking out the back. The foot's like a tail. Okay. Oh. Good loot. What's going on? Anything going on with that window? Can we see anything? We do have a good view of one of these. With its eyes out. Look at that. What? 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 There's dogs popping out of the ground. Like daisies. Oh, you're alive. Ooh, yeah, you get a real good look at him right here. Is he blinking? Some of the eyes, yeah, they're blinking. Look at that. So their eyes are just usually usually closed. That one seems a little... Does that one seem different somehow? Like, yeah, I feel like the tentacles, instead of being at the bottom, they're at the top of the head. Maybe they're always like that. I'm only basing what is the top and the bottom of the head on the... On like these, the way that the hands or, or feet are facing. All right, let's go into the bath and teleport. That was a bell lady. All right, let's see if we can dispatch her. Alright, now he's gone. Very good. Oh, this looks familiar. Oh yeah, I've been here before. Oh, man. Like, why is it... It seems like the bell ladies... 
when you take them out, they don't necessarily dispel the summons. Sometimes they just kind of, like, stagger. It's weird. Alright, what's over on this side? There's a big beast. I need to watch my stamina. Where is this? Somebody's shooting me, but I don't, oh. I don't really recognize this place. Oh, this is where I found the door. Gotcha, oh. God damn. Need to heal. Don't want to die here. Yeah. They're, they're strong. They're big, thick boys. Alright, where's where does this lead exactly? Just so I can orient myself. Okay, it leads kind of in the middle of a few of these. Oh boy. Nada. What? Oh man, they're, sh they're sniping me. Those corpse beasts are literally sniping me. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the bath. This is a little dangerous. I need to get my blood echoes back. I just wanted to check it out because I was here. But, uh... We can return now. Wait, what is this over here? It's a ladder. Hang on. I gotta check this out while I'm here, I think. Uh, what's going on here? We can descend, but why would I want to do that? Why, why do I want to be here? I guess there was an item. Oh, look at this. There's a summon sign hiding over here. Defector Antle. I'm going to summon it just for fun, just to see what's going on. Maybe you can help me with all those blobs. Defector Antle, like Doc Antle. <laughs> okay, I remember this guy. This is the same one, I'm pretty sure, that was at the boss arena for Dark... Whoa, what's going on over here? That doesn't look familiar. Where are my blood echoes? I have to go that way? I think I have to go this way. Alright, well, let's see Doc Antle here in action. Maybe we can... I can sneak up here. Okay, he's got fire. Very cool. Oh god. Getting sniped. Doesn't look like that fire attack does much damage. Alright, we're coming up to the big group of them, Antle. 
prepare yourself, okay? Ooh, wait, maybe not. It's just one. Alright, we've been there. Have I been up here? Oh, okay. This is leading to the bath. Very good. It's it's coming together. Like the area is starting to make sense to me. And now let's go this way, out the prostration door. Just trying to see if there's any items and whatnot I may have missed. Hurry up, Antel. He's kind of slow. Oh! Oh, you've got a scythe! That's what that is. So his weapon transforms between a scythe and, like, a, a little sword. Okay, that's pretty cool. We've got the Grim Reaper with us. We should probably take out this... Ranger over here. Hey, buddy. Mr. Sniper. Oh, no way. She's got my blood echoes. You stole my blood echoes. And now she's dead. Alright. I'm gonna prepare myself some pebbles for this. Ooh, you know what maybe we should do is uh, oil them up and throw Molotovs at him. I don't know if I can hit... Oh, oh, get out! If I can hit multiple, but I'm gonna try. Oh, god damn it. I forgot that that happened. Ansel, where are you? Oh, he's getting wrecked. You gotta help. I'm dead! <laughs> this area is tough. Man, I need to send bring the lift back up. Not operable. What do you mean? Oh, it's there. <laughs> it's so dark I can't see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna send this back up. What's the Blood Echoes situation? They're just on the floor down there. Maybe I should have switched my runes up, you know? For, to phys for physical defense. Guarding some chunks. All right, ambush. Hello? There we are. All 
Alright, we got the attention of just one. I might be able to do this. Looking good. They're just like having a meeting over there. Alright, let me see if I can just get this one guy. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna oil first, because I don't want to get the attention of- oh, there's just the one? I didn't realize, uh, I thought there was- oh, Kin Hunter, what? Kin Hunter, that said. Oh, right, it's a radial, so it's gonna be at the top. Attack versus the kin. So is the kin like, you know, like tentacle mobs? Um, or is that like hunters? Attack versus the kin. <laughs> Due to its extended state of dampness. Don't worry, I will be spending these Blood Echoes soon. It's been a long journey, I've saved up quite a penny, and I will be leveling up. I just want to take a gander while I'm here, so I won't be returning. We have successfully defeated all of the corpse beasts. What? What do we have? What's going on over here? Oh, hello. Just taking a look. That's the lift. Gotcha. You know, one thing I've been thinking about, when I was originally in that big chapel area, I forget what it used to be called, the Hypoge Hypogean something. Um, I saw something kind of glowing. Behold, a pale blood sky. Was it one of these? Like, I, I never really investigated that. What's the best way to go back? Okay, we got a bell summoner. We've got corpse beasts everywhere. This is not smart. I'm gonna turn around. I'm just gonna use a hunter's mark to get back to the dream. And I'm gonna put some points into arcane and change my runes around. And that's it. I'll meet you guys back there. A little bit of a gauntlet we got here. Oh, I missed. Come on. What are we looking at? What are we what are we looking at over here? I'm gonna leave the beast alone. Try and get this uh this corpse blob. Oh man, I've got multiple. That's a problem. Aha! Oh wow, you got me. Oh, okay. I need to stop doing that, I guess. Ah, 
I got shot. Get out of the way. They pretty consistently drop those Beast Hunter gems. Alright, that's the door. That's the crazy door. I don't know... Yeah, they're like built into the walls, into the... And this is really strange. Like, look at this window. It's almost like the building was formed by magic or something. And people were stuck inside of it. I uh, This is one of the places where I have no idea what boss we're going to fight. Not even remotely close. Like, in other places, this kind of a lead-up. And, like, it makes sense. Dark Beast Parl was also another one that was way out of left field. Wouldn't have expected that. Uh, I guess I didn't expect to fight Amygdala, but it was it was it made sense because we were in the Nightmare Realm. Like I would guess I would fight some sort of Eldritch Horror thing. But yeah, no inkling, no inkling of what is to come. Just got people baked into walls all over the place. Did I fully check that out? Is that a dead end? Uh, I think it was, yeah. And then I've checked the other side, so there's nothing left but to mosey on over here. Hmm. What is the purpose of this room? It might be a boss, but it might not be, because... Wow, that looks cool. Because we've got a stairwell over there. Yeah, I don't think it is a boss. Oh, it is, maybe. Cosmos. They've uncovered the moon. Oh man, and this is probably going to progress the world, and I still haven't done things. This is a mistake. Alright, we're going to fight. Oh, this makes perfect sense. We're going to fight the biggest flesh mob, massive bodies of them all. Considering the enemies we've been fighting, this actually makes sense. Look at that. It's just full of sausage and hands. Skulls. Ew. It's got like intestines hanging from it. The one reborn. Good lord. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll just go ahead and heal. Don't mind me. It's not too bad. Dodging that. Oh, he's stepping on me. Okay. This, this one's going to be a little confusing, isn't it? He's got multiple heads going on. Oh, man, there's freaking bell ladies shooting me. No, 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 no. This is like the uh, the Tower Knight in Demon Souls. I'm just going to go kill them. Get rid of these stupid fireball ladies. No way. Get out of here. Oh, oh, and I'm getting shot at while it's happening. I don't have enough heals for this. I wonder if they also buff the boss or something weird like that. Item? Dun 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 dun. Oh. You know, I wonder if this is actually dealing blood tinge uh, damage. Like blood damage, this boss. That'd be interesting. I have a feeling that it does. 
what's my blood tinge defense? Mm, it's pretty good. It's my highest defense with this armor set. Oh, she's gone. Okay, so now we will fight the boss. I guess. Looks like an explosion or something over there. Gotta watch out here for the feet. Oh, I'm stuck in the feet. Oh, this is a tail. It's not a second head. Oh, man. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, so it just rained guts on me from the sky. Now I know. And that bell lady's still alive. This is a weird boss. <laughs> it is unique. It's like the, uh, that stupid gulch boss in Dark Souls 2. The Black Gulch boss, the, uh... I don't remember what it's called. But, but better. Like, this is a better version of that. And how is there not a good shortcut for this? Oh, I didn't send the lift up! Oh! Why? No! Don't take my health. Oh, maybe I should have got off there, actually. It's probably better. Okay, the, the world did not progress yet. Uh, the moon is the same. That's actually kind of good. I like that. Because there's still tons of places I want to re-explore before I progress any sort of time. As this game seems uh, want to do when you defeat certain bosses. When I defeat this boss, it might do that. I don't know. I can't believe that this is the run. This is the boss run I have to do. And then am I going to be, like, killing these bell ladies every single time? Feels a little bit... odd. Oh! I couldn't move. I was stuck on a stupid freaking pot. Oh, that's annoying. Oh man, now she's gonna survive. I should have gone for the second hit. What if I do it at R2? Alright, that takes him out. R2 it is. down at the bottom. Can I see her? Yeah, I see her. She's way over there. Alright, we'll heal up. I would like to kind of just run over to the other side. Take out this bell lady. Alright. Oh, I should have... I knew that would have been bullets. Oh, no! They just rained from anywhere. What are you doing? Man, this boss is annoying. <laughs> Just guts all over. What am I trying to, to do here? This is weird. Oh gosh. Uh. That was like a little meat explosion. Oh, let's get out. I think if you just keep moving. Uh, it's not so bad. Ah, oh, the guts got me. I need to heal. Something's happening. 
I don't know what that was. It's summoning guts, I think. I don't know. This is very confusing. Something big is about to happen. Oh, my blood echoes. Oh! Oh, the meat! Man, that was bad. I wonder how I avoid that. Do I just sprint? Oh, big explosion. All right, I'm at its front right now, so it might try to hit me. Ugh. Oh, something's happening. Oh, we can hit the we can hit the top. Ugh. Hit him again. Yeah. All right, now I need to run. Ooh. I'll heal just in case. I don't really know what's gonna happen here. Arcane is not the best damage for this. I probably should be doing fire. Oh, he's down. Ugh. But I can't get him. We're so close. Just don't let it summon guts. Oh, no. Just kill it. Ugh. Woo. Okay, that boss was easy. <laughs> that was a lot easier than most of the bosses in this game. My goodness. It was about the difficulty of the Tower Knight in Demon's Souls, to be honest. Maybe a little bit harder. It was easier than the Black Gulch boss, than that the big meat pile, that's for sure. Light that lamp. Uh, it doesn't look like time has progressed, so that makes me feel better about doing this. I did get a lot of souls, a lot of blood echoes from that. That's also good. Alright, I'll, I'll push on. No, I'll go back and spend the souls. <laughs> We've got a lamp right here. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, good one. Very well, then. Okay, so I just oh, need like 10k time. more to afford the next thing. Let's go to sell. Mm, I can sell the, the tomb mold here for 5,000. There we go. I think I need this ritual blood for different things. I need the arcane haze just in case. So what can I sell? Wow, the Evelyn is sold for 11,000. Impressive. I can sell some of these. I don't know if I'm going to make enough enough money, though. Gosh, there's just so many. This is a slow poison effect. Okay, so I don't need all of those. Man, I, this is too much. Too much going on right now. And I can even sell these runes, but like for a pittance. Alright, I'm gonna use my cold blood. Hmm. Is that enough? Welcome. What is it? Wait, it's not. I already know it's not. That's not enough either. Welcome. What? Very well. Ah, oh, so close. Ooh, I can get Bloodstone Chunks now for 20 Insight. That is cool. Might be time to upgrade a weapon now that we can get an unlimited supply, in theory. I mean, that's a lot of Insight. Holy cow. <laughs> How much do we even have? Because I've got a bunch of... Yeah, I've got 46, and then however much this one gives me. So, not a small amount, eh? I 
I could buy two. It just doesn't seem worth it. Advent Plaza, it's called. Advent Plaza. The Advent. The Coming. Man, what are we gonna get that Rosemarinus? Like, where do we unlock that now? So, I can use this now. The Tiny Tonitris. I have enough uh, Arcane ability. Since we've leveled up. So, maybe I'll be doing that. Maybe I'll be dipping in and uh, give it a try. It costs six, though, so I don't want to just, like, throw it around willy-nilly, just for fun. Seems like something that I should be using only if I need it. Then again, we could take advantage of my strategy, where I get the extra QS bullets and then rally off of an enemy. And then maybe we can make that work. Oh, I thought that was a live person. I think that's just one of those cage bros. There's so many of them. And, you know, they do have that same kind of petrified look. Look at that little tiny one. Oh, no, it's, it's not that small. But, yeah, it's a kid. They all kind of look petrified, similar to all of the corpses outside. <gasps> Is this the choir? Oh my god, this is the choir! Like, maybe they're not actually dead, or maybe they're, spiritually they're like, like they're like on another plane. I think this is the choir. Look at the way that they're all sitting around. Oh lord, I'm about to commune with the choir. Inspect the mummy. This is, this is bananas. I don't know if I should do this. Uh. Alright. Let's just take a look, I guess. But this, I feel like this is going to progress the world, isn't it? And there's still more that I want to do. Like, I still feel like I should explore everything real quick. I'm not going to do this. <laughs> like, oh, sorry for the cliffhanger, but I just don't, I don't want to, like, mess with that just yet. Uh, here's what I think would be fun. I've got a better weapon than when I was there last. I'm going to go into the DLC, and we're going to try and kill the Gatling gun guy and the stuff that's in that cave. Because it's something that I kind of just ran through. Mm, where do we want to go here? I don't remember where this is. The Nightmare Church? Yes, I do. I don't think I want to go there. I want to go to the original lamp. You know, I'm thinking that maybe we can actually take on that Gatling gun guy. I almost said chainsaw. But yeah, my bet is that that is the choir. That was really cool. Like, awesome vibes I got from that. Oh, this NPC is gone. I guess that makes sense. We killed the boss. He's probably moved to another spot. Oh, right. I remember now how running there is kind of hard. I think it'll be easier to go this way. Oh, oh. I almost did not do the right thing there. Yeah, because now I can get around that big blob of beasts. And then now we can just... Oh, no! Oh! I hate that blood attack. Yeah, that worked out. That was pretty good. Alright, so now I'm gonna... Oh, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna buff. I'm gonna try to get in with the with the auger. Oh, what have I done? Oh man, I buffed and then I accidentally. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Hang on a second. Let's do this because I wasted my my bullets. That was kind of annoying. And then we can do that. I don't know how, but I I must have accidentally clicked right on the stick. Oh. Man, he's still so strong. Don't you dare shoot me. Oh, man.
Oh, I don't. I didn't need to heal. I actually meant to press a different button there. Almost got him. Oh no! Oh! Woo! Oh man! I am victorious. Gatling gun. Oh man. <laughs> that is a little bit that is a little bit much. We actually have a Gatling gun. We get his Gatling gun. Holy Toledo. All right, let's take a look. Look, I can wield a cannon and a Gatling gun. And then I can just use my Augur of Abritas as my my parry mechanic. That sounds fun. That sounds good. Although maybe I should use this Evelyn as my parry mechanic like that looks it looks so cool it's a pure oh right yeah all firearms are pure blood tinge like the scaling isn't horrendous with my measly 18 blood tinge it's not terrible what about this one this one also has uh i'm confused what are we looking at here okay it has e scaling just like the cannon um I wonder how this works. Like, it probably just eats through your bullets so fast. This is a highly customized, portable version of the stationary Gatling gun operated by the old hunter Jura. Wow. It was the weapon of choice of the youngest of Jura's three companions. Three companions he has. So have we fought all of them now? Like, I'm trying to think. Where have we fought these kind of people? Like, Jura's companions. And I really don't know. The Gatling gun boasts exceptional rapid firing functionality, but is considered a cumbersome weapon due to its excessive weight and insatiable consumption of Quicksilver bullets. Yeah. I mean, I've got the strength to wield it. That's not a problem. Uh, I mean, that seems really cool. Like, imagine if I used this in that, uh, in that fight against the big blood beast and just, ah, just unloaded. How cool would that be? Sounds awesome. And I think I'll be upgrading that bad boy. I don't really like the cannon anymore. Like, it seemed cool, but it doesn't do enough damage to justify 12 QS bullets. Uh, the, the Gatling gun might be the same. It might not be justified to use something that ridiculous. Alright, I might use this for fun, but first, I'm going to buff. But I also want to be able to get... Oh god. I want to be able to get my uh, QS bullets back off this guy. Oh jeez. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Oh no! I'm screwed. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, that beast is a lot stronger <laughs> than the other one. It's actually stronger than the one that was in Old Yarnum. Oh, it's got like vampire fangs. Sick. Unless it's just the hair made to look like fangs. All right, well, that Gatling gun NPC doesn't come back. So maybe I can explore that cave. Maybe I can get back in there real quick. Let's see. I have a Gatling gun. La 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 la. I have a Gatling gun. Looking forward to some fun. guys in their beast safe. Watch that stamina. Looking good. Alright, I wonder if there's a different way to approach this cave. Because that blood-starved beast had other enemies around him. I'm curious, like, is there a little offshoot that I can take? Yeah, over here. Okay, we got something going on over here. I'm gonna do my strategy right now. What was that? Oh man, it didn't work, I was too slow. Oh man. I'm always surprised when things are insanely strong. I'm in the blood cave.
Nice. Got those blood echoes back. Alright, I'm gonna use this. And then I'm also gonna... Oh man, that did like nothing. <laughs> I mean, it did 400 damage. That's not terrible, but... Against a big old monster with thousands of hit points, not really worth it. I guess it's good maybe in PvP, but I'm just going to eat through my QS bullets at this point. Like, I need a... Whoa! I need a more reliable way to, like, have a lot of QS bullets. Maybe I should be focusing on visceral attacks more, because you can... There's that awesome rune that recovers your... Whoa! Your visceral attacks. Oh, he's alive! Oh, no! Ugh! Is it dead? Yes! We got a warm, damp blood gem. That's a firearm blood gem. I think, because it's like droplet. It's shaped like a droplet. And there we go! Lovely little blood bath. Oh, look, you can see the ripples. The ripples linger from our footsteps in the blood. That's nice. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, so next time, I think I might continue with the DLC for a bit. Uh, be, well, or, I don't know. It depends on what I can make happen with uh, with this thing. Because uh, what I really want to do is get enough blood dregs to make something happen. To make something at all happen with the queen. And then once that happens as well, I want to try and find Alfred. Um, because I, just in case, just in case there's some sort of conflict between Alfred and the, and the Queen, I want to do one before I do the other, you know? And I want to do all of that before I progress the world into, like, another phase. And I'm, I have a sneaking suspicion that speaking, communing with the choir, or fighting them, I don't know, maybe we're going to get teleported into another dimension and fight the choir... Maybe the choir is just going to be like a bunch of eldritch gods or something. I have a feeling that that's like end game, like going to progress something. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. It's been fun. Uh, I think I'll just go back home and buy some like uh, blood shards with these souls. And I will see you in the next one.